So there's a question right now as to who the Republican Party is. What are they? Who, what do they believe? Whose side are they on? Is it Trump? Is it the rest of the Republicans that are rebelling against him? Uh, Paul Ryan, who's conflicted here. Some of the others, like Joe Heck and John McCain and Kelly Ayotte, who say, no, 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 the Republican Party is better than Donald Trump, who makes these uh, horrible comments, etc. Well, uh, I think this, the jury's in on this, and I think the answer is very, very clear. So, um, first, let me go to the polling. I'm not going to talk about my gut here. Uh, I'm going to talk about what people actually believe. So, they asked uh, Republican voters about this in a political morning consult poll. This is after they had heard the tapes. And they said just 48% of GOP voters said it makes them feel less favorably towards Trump, while 36% said it doesn't affect their opinions. Now, look, you can say that's 48% is a solid number, so that has affected them a little bit, a little bit split there. Okay, let's keep looking at the numbers. 22% of GOP respondents rated the video as zero, very negative. Okay, now you would think that number should be much higher given that he said he would like to grab women by the pussy and that's what he did and then he moves on them like a bitch and and then he kisses them without asking and and the list goes on and on you'd think that the number would be higher but okay 22% of republicans do say hey yes that's very negative <laughs> this is my favorite number 10% of republicans said the video gave them a positive feeling what <laughs> how does that video give you a positive feeling well i have a sense of how it does for of course some of the people in the republican party Okay, but most importantly, three quarters of Republican voters want the party to stand behind Trump. See, that's the most important number, and that is not unclear. Overwhelming majority of the Republican voters say, no, 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 stand behind Trump. We're with Trump even after hearing these crazy tapes. Okay, so I got to tell the mainstream media, and by the way, also the Democratic Party that often does not get this. This is Trump is not an aberration. Trump is the Republican Party. That's why he won the primaries. That's why he beat 16 other guys. And, and you guys created this. The Republican Party ran a Southern strategy that embraced racism. And I'm not the one saying that. Their former Republican chairs said that. Ken Melman said by the 70s and into the 80s and 90s, the Democratic Party solidified its gains in the African American community, and we Republicans did not effectively reach out. Some Republicans gave up on winning the African American vote, looking the other way, or trying to benefit politically from racial polarization. I am here today as the Republican chairman to tell you we were wrong. He's apologizing for giving into or creating and benefiting from racial polarization. Now, I had Pat Buchanan on my show on MSNBC about five years ago, and I asked him about the Southern strategy because he worked for Nixon when they came up with the Southern strategy. And he said, we had a good 40-year run. No one denies it. It's absolutely real. When the Democrats pushed to get the civil rights legislation passed, as Lyndon Johnson did, a Democratic president, well, a lot of uh, southern racists were upset about that. So that's just a reality. That is history. And so at that point, Republicans thought, okay, let's go fill the void. If these Democrats, and a lot of the racists, by the way, used to vote for the Democrats. So the Republicans saw an opportunity. Let's go get that racist vote in the South. It is ample. It's, at that time, it was gigantic. So that was what the southern strategy was. So there's Melman apologizing for it. And now Michael Steele, another. Republican National Committee Chairman had said, for the last 40 plus years, we had a quote, Southern strategy that alienated many minority voters by focusing on the white male vote in the South. This is not some sort of conspiracy theory. It is an absolute historical fact. The Republican Party was built on this over the last 40 years. So don't come around pretending to be shocked and chagrined. There's gambling in this, in this establishment? Yeah, of course, of course, the party's built on racism. So when the voters turn out to support a candidate like Trump who's brazenly racist, bigoted, uh, misogynistic, etc., that it should come as no surprise to anyone. That's how you built this party. Okay, so let me give you more uh, evidence to that effect. When you ask Trump supporters, uh, what percentage of them think uh, Barack Obama is Muslim? I mean, that is an outrageous proposition. 65% say that he's Muslim. Now, why do they not say that anyone else is Muslim? John McCain, Bernie Sanders.
Gee, I wonder why. Oh, you know why. They don't like Muslims, they don't like Obama, he's an other, his dad's from Kenya, he's black. So 65% of them think that he is a Muslim. 31% believe that we should not allow homosexuals into the country. Of Trump supporters, 31%. That is a giant number. All right, 16% say of Trump supporters that whites are the superior race. And of course, 59% say that uh, Barack Obama is not a U.S. citizen. Bernie Sanders always made the point, hey, listen, um, my dad came from a different country. How come nobody ever asked me for my birth certificate? And you know why, because Bernie Sanders is white and Barack Obama is black. So this is the kind of racism that leads to 16% of Trump supporters thinking that whites are the superior race. We're not done yet. In a national YouGov poll from January, he found that 20% of Trump supporters disagreed with Lincoln's signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed the southern slaves. Are you getting it yet? This is the Republican Party. This is the basket of deplorables. The Republican Party created and fostered this and it and took advantage of it and then the republican voters embraced it became the republican party over the years and then now are supporting donald trump that's how it works i'll give you one last set of polling if you still uh, aren't getting it in 2012 during the primaries they asked alabama voters should interracial marriage be legal now come on Nobody's going to say interracial marriage would be illegal this day and age. That was in 2012. 67% say, yeah, it should be legal. 21% say it should be illegal. And 12% are not sure whether white people and black people should be allowed to marry one another. In Mississippi, the numbers were worse. Only 54% of Republican primary voters thought that interracial marriage should be legal. 29%, almost a third of Republican primary voters in the year 2012, thought that interracial marriage should not be legal. This is the Republican Party. It's not that, oh my God, Donald Trump came in here and somehow tricked Republican voters into becoming racist or bigoted or sexist. They already were that because that's exactly what the Republican Party built. So please stop pretending that Donald Trump is some sort of aberration. He is the natural result of what this Republican Party would obviously bring you. And they have brought it to you, and yes, it is a monster, but it's a monster of their own creation.